All right, guys, so we're here at Spartak Australia and we're with uh, Ryan. So thank you very much for having me here. Can you just give me a bit of a background on, on your background and how the company came to fruition? Yeah, sure. So um, I'm uh, currently a serving police officer with the West Australian Police Force. Uh, I've been serving police officer for 11 years now and my business partner, he's been serving police officer for 12 years. Uh, a couple of years ago, we decided to, um, to start our, our brand, Spartak Australia. Uh, initially, it was uh, just a little, little shop started with one one little patch um, we wanted to get it out there so to help sort of raise awareness uh, of police and the good work that they do and then it just branched out into all the different emergency services now um, to the shop that we've got now where we sell tack gear bags torches all that sort of stuff and we've recently just uh, got our new black box uh, body worn camera that we've developed ourselves. we've tested it on the road out on the front line uh, so we know it works yeah, awesome. I've seen you guys online quite a few times. Um, can you go over the camera for us? I mean, it's still one of your big ticket item there, and yeah. it'd be interesting to know what sort of features those things have uh, for people and security as well. Yeah, absolutely. So the black box camera itself, um, we've we've developed it. We uh, we teamed up with a uh, manufacturer over in China. They gave us we we picked the design. You probably might see the same design out there, but it's not the same camera. We basically, we picked a nice looking shell, and then the internal we changed it. All right, so we uh, we made it our own. We wanted it to um, be able to you know capture evidence. Uh, so so this thing has got day night camera. It's completely secure. You can't access this footage without a password. You can't. If, so if this falls in the wrong hands, nobody's going to be getting that. Handing it off to the social media or to the the media outlets and uh, editing it how they want to portray you in a bad light. If someone if that falls in the wrong hands, they cannot access that footage at all. Um, and. It's got uh, like a pre-record function, so you know you can walk around your shift. You can have it clipped onto your, your vest or, or whatever you, you're wearing, and it'll just be there passively, passively recording through the shift. And then when stuff goes on, we just tap it once. You feel it vibrate. Red light goes on, and now you're recording. And it will catch back capture the last 30 seconds uh, before the record. And then once you turn the record off, you double tap it. It vibrates twice, and then it will capture the next 30 seconds after that as well. Um, so we've found it's, a, it's an amazing, we've been using it operationally, testing it operationally and already it's just been saving us um, you know, loads of times. If, the, if people make complaints, we can go, here's the footage, you know, this is what's happened. Um, it stops all that, those vexatious sort of claims. Uh, we also found it's a massive attitude changer. You know, if you're going up to someone who's being, maybe being a little bit belligerent and uh, you want to say, hey look, just letting you know, everything you're doing and saying is being recorded, we're finding a lot of people their attitude changes straight away. They suddenly become a little bit more compliant and thinking more about Accountability. Yeah, yeah. Do I really want to be saying this and my mum see it, you know? So, uh, yeah, we find you know, massive attitude changer. And then the evidentiary factor is, uh, you, you can't put a price on it, to be honest. Um, you know, just, just being able to go back to the station and, you know, sit, sit in, a, in a nice, you know, relaxed environment and review what just happened. Um, you could have just been fighting with someone and you haven't seen someone sneaking up behind you that had a knife or you couldn't, you know, things like that. You, you see it back on the footage and um, sometimes realise how lucky you were. Sometimes you can use it as a learning tool uh, and, and how to uh, to learn from those experiences and, and build. Yeah, yeah, and, we, and we've done that as well where we've had, um, you know, some younger, younger, inexperienced coppers and we look back at the footage and we use it as a debrief tool. You know, we say, hey, look, See where you're standing here. Um, you could have been standing here, and, and just things like that. Um, just to say, yeah, massive learning tool as well. You're 100% correct. Yeah. Mate, I, I really appreciate what you guys do. You got some really nice morale patches down here. Um, can you tell me about this one here? Yeah. <clears throat> so Sirens of Silence, um, they're our aligned charity. Because uh, one of the things we wanted once we when we started Spartak is um, we wanted to give back to try and help our brothers and sisters in the emergency services with mental illness because um, we know what it's like you know you see some horrible things and you take it home with you and it can really affect you and a lot of people you know they you know terribly they take their own life because they don't feel that there's anything else out there and they don't trust the organizations they work for so sirens of silence they're out there trying to fill that void you know if you need help you contact them they will they will they will get the psychologist for you they'll make the appointment they will drive you there if you need to drive there um, so we're happy to be aligned with them. We try and make uh, you know, bi-monthly donations to them. So from every sale, we try and put money aside and then we'll, we'll make donations every, every couple months um, just to help them you know, with whatever they need to do. 
Um, you know, they've recently set, setting up a uh, uh, sort of a new uh, clinic, like a sort of a safe place where you know emergency service personnel can go, and um, you know know that you know when they're talking to these psychologists, it's not going to be going back to their bosses. You know, there's, there's no underhanded stuff going on. It's um, it's, it's legitimate help. Definitely, and uh, from from doing interviews around here today and meeting a lot of military personnel, um, you know, in, in my my view, uh, you guys get forgotten a little bit, and um, but it's really focused on the military guys. But you see stuff that's just as bad, yeah. and and, and you've got to go through stuff that's just as bad, and. Um, you guys matter just as much. So uh, you guys are out there on the front lines and doing all this other stuff. So um, yeah, we really appreciate what you guys are doing and this is a great organisation and I really just do feel like giving. So I'm buying stuff and, 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 and supporting you guys and I really just can't wait to uh, see what you guys have got in the future. Have you got any plans for the future? Yeah, we've got, we've got, a, um, we've got some new designs coming out now, a power range for summer. Um, some new tank tops and, and sleeveless tees and things like that. A couple of designs that I'm really excited about and hope other people will like as well. Um, but we're going to look at releasing them in the next couple of weeks. So people you know, jump over to our Facebook page, Bartek Australia, uh, chuck us a like. Um, we'll post everything through there, um, even through our website. If you sign up to our mail out list, we try and um, you know, get the info out to our subscribers first um, and you know, discount codes and things like that. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you very much for your time, mate. Thank you guys for your service, and uh, I wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks buddy. buddy. All right, we're here with uh, Simon from Spadex Designs. Uh, you guys are a promo and, uh, and pens and all that sort of stuff. Uh, with company names and logos. So can you just give us a bit of a background on how you come about and uh, and where you've come from? Sure, so uh, Spadix Print Design is a veteran-owned business. Uh, we're a uh, print shop with a uh, uh, design studio. So uh, basically uh, what we do, we do anything from um, custom stickers to um, uh, business cards and uh, display. Uh, so yeah, we're quite, uh, we've got a quite broad range of uh, products. Um, yeah, we uh, service anyone from um, well, uh, the local community uh, as well as uh, the defence community throughout Australia. Uh, we're very popular with uh, all units and uh, ESOs and uh, uh, veteran organisations and uh, we help um, brand their products as well as um, uh, uh, get all their uh, signage and display and uh, promotional material. And uh, yeah, we, um, yeah, that's, that's what we do. Yeah. Awesome. So you're a veteran yourself, you're the founder of this company. So veteran owned, which is great. This is what we like, Australian owned as well. So. Um, have you got a couple of things here that you can show us, just uh, just to give us a, an idea of uh, of what you're all about? So we've got yeah, sure. some stickers and pens and and cards. You guys do up pamphlets for people and all yeah, that sort of right. stuff. Yep, and uh, and brochures. Yeah. So some really good stuff here. Actually, I might have to keep in, t in contact with you. <laughs> so yeah, we're very popular for branding uh, businesses and uh, keeping everyone looking uh, great quality. So as well as design and um, and um, printing requirements. Um, that's what we're here for. We're basically an arm extension for everyone's business, and uh, yeah, uh, we help out and make um, make it possible for everyone to have their effective marketing marketing uh, campaigns and strategies as well. Awesome. So, whereabouts can we find you? Where are you based? Where? What social media platforms are you on? Yeah, sure. So we're uh, got a quite a good uh, popular. Uh, we've got a pretty good um, iconic uh, following on Facebook. We've got over thirty thousand likes. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram, and uh, we've also got our website, uh, spadexdesign.com. Uh, there we've got the uh, military sticker shop, which is quite popular amongst the veterans to get their uh, veteran stickers, uh, the personalised ribbon stickers as well. And uh, yeah, you can get us hold of, uh, hold of us uh, via email and those means. And uh, yeah, we'd love to help. Yep. Awesome. Now, uh, being a being a veteran, uh, a, a question I like to ask people is, where, why'd you get into the military? Uh, yes, it's uh, I guess it's a family uh, tradition. I guess uh, so. It's come through the generations. Uh, my uh, great grandfather was uh, one of the first uh, onto the Gallipoli shore. Uh, my uh, grandfather, uh, my grandfather was on the Kokoda Trail. Uh, he uh, fought there um, with the uh, the the second 27th. And uh, yeah, my uh, father served uh, um, during the Vietnam era. And uh, yeah, so uh, myself today. Yep. yep. Awesome. So um, thank you very much for your service to start with. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, one thing talking about thank you for your service, um, one, which is a main thing I'd like to share, is um, we've got the uh, thank you for your service stickers, which are iconic, and um, um, the, the, this is a, a good story that I'd like to share. Um, Jasmine Carmel, she was a uh, uh, she's a lady that lost her son to P PTSD, and as we know, it's one of the things that uh, the defence community's uh, been battling over the last couple of years with our uh, returned soldiers and our um, a large veteran community. Uh, she lost her son to PTS and uh, she wanted a way to heal and, um, and uh, focus on the healing process of um, getting through and she approached me to design a sticker that she could hand out and pay, uh, pay the good message forward of, of um, letting the veterans know um, that, they, uh, that, the, the, um, this, uh, that Australia is thankful for their service. So I come up with this uh, sticker design. So I've got two sticker designs there, one for emergency services, one for the uh, thank you for your service. Uh, and uh, we've uh, done 30,000 stickers that have gone over the three years uh, Australia-wide. So um, it, the, the page is quite viral and it's got quite a, quite a following and quite a support amongst the community. So we've got about 10,000 likes on that uh, Facebook page. And uh, yeah, so um, if anything, I'd like to uh, share that. And uh, if you want to get on board and support that, that'd be fantastic. And how do they contact you to get a hold of these stickers? Yeah, sure. So the Thank You For Your Service page uh, for a start. Come along, uh, give us a like, uh, uh, get on board uh, with the engagement. Uh, you can uh, order the stickers online and we can send them out. We cover cost for cost because basically it's about getting the message out there. So uh, what my business does in support of uh, Jasmine's uh, mission is to uh, supply these um, stickers to her uh, just at the cost for cost price and uh, so we can enjoy that message and uh, be able to thank our uh, service uh, men and women for the great job that they've done. Is this uh, a transition for you out of the military? Is this what you decided that you'd transition out to? Yes, uh, when I was in Afghanistan, I'll have to say. Um, it was one of those things, uh, what am I going to do uh, once I finish, because I, uh, I got to a stage where I knew my service was done, uh, very proud of my service uh, with um, B Squadron 34th Cavalry Regiment and um, uh, I, uh, yeah, I've always been a creative person and I thought you know, this would be a great venture to be able to uh, supply this as a, um, as a, as a, a service to the defence community and, uh, yeah, and uh, I've built it to where we are today, uh, I've got myself staff and to print shop and uh, yeah and we've got um, a great client base and good following. Yeah absolutely um, coming back to the uh, thank you for your service yep. sort of stuff there we I've, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts lately I, yep. I don't know if you've heard of the Hazard Ground podca podcast it's uh, it's on Spotify yep. it's about uh, US military personnel telling their stories of yep. of war and what whatnot yep. and um, I think the main thing for, for people with PTSD is yeah. the transitioning back into society yes. yeah. and uh, and trying to find a purpose for themselves. They, they, they see that um, uh, they don't have a purpose anymore and uh, yeah. it can really weigh heavily on them and yeah. um, there's a lot of organisations out there that can help these uh, veterans get back on their feet and, yeah. and to know that they're not the only ones and, yeah. and it's completely normal to have PTSD and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's one thing that is definitely a, a, a quite a hurdle for a lot of veterans, um, especially um, if they haven't had much skill with uh, uh, working beforehand, um, working in the, uh, before um, joining the service. And uh, yeah, it's about finding your niche, finding your purpose and, and uh, working on that and uh, not being afraid of what you want to do and, um, and, and accepting the fact that, um, that it, it is okay to, um, to, to feel um, the, what you do about about your uh, about what you your, your, what you what you experience, you know uh, everyone has their own degree of service and the, um, their their experiences and and it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to um, uh, have those bad days and and to um, but yeah, talking about um, you know finding something to, to focus on. Like for myself, the business um, has definitely helped me in, in my um, in my journey after after serving because I lost a crew member, uh, one of my mates uh, overseas. Um, and uh, that was something that was uh, a lot to deal with uh, um, moving on from that. And um, yeah, this is one way I've been able to uh, cope myself, so. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I mean, the people that you serve with in, uh, in, in a remote country like that is, uh, yeah. they become family. They are your family, they're your brothers, yes. you're the sisters, you know, all that sort of stuff. So yeah. uh, the bond is tight. And when, when you come out of that, I, I suppose you, you lose that connection and uh, yeah. you struggle to find that back in society. Yeah, that's right. Like I, I can uh, definitely uh, talk about moments um, in my own personal experiences like that when I uh, when when I discharged. The first couple of weeks uh, was such a vacuum in uh, in feeling because I didn't have a parade to get to. I didn't have to be somewhere on time. I wasn't being chased by um, uh, you know my mates or NCOs to be somewhere or do something. And and that vacuum and that that um, that change was quite quite something to. Uh, 
to get used to and uh, veterans uh, will um, go through their own experiences of how they deal with that uh, mo moving on but um, it can certainly affect a lot of um, um, service men and women in a different way but yeah it's finding your niche that's what it's about. Yeah definitely mate thank you very much for your service and, and thank you very much for the interview as well and uh, I'm going to keep in touch with you because I need some stuff. Can definitely help you out here anytime. <laughs> Thanks, mate.